Hello guys, Bingo Cat here. So today we're back with my series of using old operating systems to see if they still work up to standards in 2016. And I know I said the Windows Me video would be my last video, but I got a request to do a couple more videos. Today we're going to be using Windows 3.1. Now, Windows 3.1 was released in 1992. As you can see, when I started up Windows 3.1, this is what it brings me to. It just brings me to a uh, command prompt, right? Uh, Microsoft DOS command prompt. So, in order to launch Windows, what you have to do in the olden days is once you turned it on and got to this, is you'd have to type WIN for Windows, hit enter, and voila! Windows 3.1, right? I think. It was the first version of Windows that supported, you know, actual windows moving them around on the screen, but don't quote me on that. And, yeah. And so, as you can see, when you launch Windows, it launches you to this thing called Program Manager. So, I like this. It's intuitive, not as much, but it isn't really obvious what all the buttons do. Like, to me, this would be minimized, right? And that's what it does do, I think. It minimizes it into an icon on the desktop. And then you just double click to open it again. And then that minimizes it. And that opens it, right? And this gives you menu options. Like you can close the window if you want. And yeah, stuff like that. And comes with games, accessories, main. So, and then if you want to exit windows, you click file and then exit windows. Now you can minimize the entire program manager. Watch this. And minimize to another desktop. And then you double click to open it, and voila. So you can do basic stuff on this version of Windows. This was, I think, one of the first versions of Windows that was actually really popular. And a lot of people liked it because it could do a lot more than previous versions of Windows. And then it comes with stuff like clock, right? So it is 9.44 p.m. on May the 3rd, 2016. And yeah, so to close this, how the heck do you close it? I think. You can only minimize this program, maybe? Yeah, it just gets minimized into the accessories window. Then terminal, eh? I don't even know what that's for. Yeah, sure. But can you close it? Yes, you can exit it. Uh, paintbrush is basically the Microsoft Paint before Windows 95. So this actually does look different compared to today's version of Paint. But it can do most of the same stuff that today's version of Paint Co. Like, uh, let me try and dry something. Bing. Go. Ah, I can't. Alright, draw shape here. And let's save this, right? So, this has a C drive, so let's just save it. Can you make a new folder? I guess not. Not yet, at least. There's only a C drive and an A drive. The A drive is a floppy drive, right? Um, so let's just name this Bingo Cat First Image. Let's see if it'll let me. Bam. Bingo Cat First Image. The file name is not valid. I'm guessing it's because earlier versions of Windows want a shorter name. So let's just name this Bingo Cat. Okay. And let's exit. Now let's say I wanted to open it, right? Um, so this version of Windows does include a file manager. Let's go to the, the top of it. And I saved it to the root of the C drive. I thought I saved it to the root of the C drive, but I don't see it. But the question is, if I was to minimize a file manager and minimize whatever the heck this is, um, would I see it? So if I just went back to paintbrush and clicked open, Oh, you know why? It probably saves it somewhere in the Windows folder. But the important part is that I can open it. Okay. Let's close this. Let's see. You could navigate the system. So what's Recorder, right? I don't really know what Recorder is, to be honest. So if I click on New, it doesn't really give me options. Oh, here we go. I don't care who it's licensed to, but contents, application, create, oh, it creates macros, but I don't understand why it's called recorder, but I'm not that good at Metro, so help, I'm glad that previous versions of Windows really had a decent help file, because otherwise I'd probably have no idea how to use earlier versions of Windows, 
And like today, you don't really need a help file on Windows. You can just Google whatever problem you have. Earlier versions of Windows, like before Windows Vista, you couldn't really Google problems and find them any solutions, so you had to have a decent help file on hand. So let's exit Recorder, and here's the Write. This is basically a really primitive word processor, which I'm pretty sure Write turned into WordPad once upon a time. So let's see. This is Bingo Cat. From YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so save as. I just want to save on the root of the C drive, okay? So save as. Yep. Click OK. Why is that? Oh, it's probably because there's semicolons in there. Okay. Let's save. WRI is not valid. Why not? So WRI is not a file I've seen in a long time, but doc files did exist back in the 90s, so you can always just do that. And go ahead and cl click file, and then click exit, and then I can open it back up later. So notepad is here, look at this. Notepad, basically, this version of notepad is literally the exact same version of notepad that's on Windows 10. There's a couple of missing features here and there, but this is the exact same as Windows 10, basically. But it's still useful, of course. And so let's see, Alt F, Alt A, Alt F A. Let's. Earlier versions of Windows depended heavily on the mouse. I mean, not on the mouse, the keyboard. So testing one, two, three. But you can still use the mouse here. What do you mean that's not valid? Is that file name seriously too long? Newer versions of Windows can go up to something like 200 something characters, and this is only letting me do like 7. So, um, this also has a media player, which is nice, but I don't really have any test videos to be honest. Like if you're just to just scroll down here, I don't have any test videos. And if I were to go up here, I don't think I have any test videos either. So let's just close that, right? Um, let's move this for a minute. Um, as a sound recorder, watch this. Here we go. The device is, ah, of course it's being used. I can't use it at the same time. But this is useful. Increase speed by 100 and decrease speed so you can make different sounding voices in older versions of Windows. All right, so scrolling down on the accessories list, what is this? Note talk. So it looks like you can type stuff here and Windows will say it. So let's see. I am the best you to wear alive. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha JK. Alright. Can't open wave out device? You gotta be kidding me. I show wanted to show that to you guys, and now I can't. Now this is something I like that versions of Windows before Windows Vista had, but don't have anymore, is the Clipbook Viewer, right? Um, so I think the Clipbook Viewer, all it does was it viewed items on your Windows clipboard, you know when you try and copy something, before you try and paste something, you could just view what was there. And I liked it because you don't have to open up like Word or something like that just to see what's on your clipboard. There's a separate Clipbook Viewer application, but let's take a look at other stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff is. DOS editor, right? Oh god. Oh, I love this. Press enter to see the survival guide. Um, what is this? So I guess this is just for programming purposes maybe? I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, this is irrelevant today and I don't have to do anything in DOS. Smart, mo smart monitor, eh? Okay. But, what is this? Uh, Microsoft Antivirus. Oh, look at this. Microsoft apparently has actually included an antivirus drive on Windows 3.1. That is something that they, not d they did not do on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. I mean, they do include an antivirus on Windows 8, finally, and Windows 10 too but it's not that good in my opinion. So let's move on from all this stuff. I'm sure you guys want to see the games. 
there's a lot of games in here like Solitaire, this looks the exact same Solitaire that like Windows 7 has, Windows XP, etc. Uh, let's see, and I like the robot theme. I don't know why they kept the Solitaire game the exact same for so long though, but it plays pretty much like every other Solitaire game that's ever existed. And it's a good time waster, pretty much everyone I know has played Solitaire at least one point in time. Um, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and exit this game, then there's also Minesweeper on here, it's actually, this game is impossible, I don't know why someone decided to create Minesweeper. Did I get everything, is there any easy way to tell? Oh gosh darn it, but, smiley face? No, that just clears the board, okay, out of Minesweeper, hearts, it's just your standard hearts, hearts network, if this actually still works. <laughs> this actually still works. The Hearts Network. Go figure, eh? I don't think most of these games are included in Windows 10. I just have them installed here, like Asteroids. I don't think that's included. I, I'm not old enough to actually have lived through Windows 3.1, but I would have loved it back in the day. Now, Windows 3.1 didn't include a uh, web browser. It might have, you know, been able to install a web browser, but I really don't know. I mean, I could have had a web browser, but... Uh, I don't think it did. Now the last thing I want to look at, I guess, is the control panel. And this is really basic compared to today's control panel and settings app. And, but as all the basic stuff like colors, fonts, ports, mouse, desktop, oh let's do this. I want, I hate bugs and this sounds like bugs, but let's use a critters pattern, right? And uh, flying windows screensaver, sure, wallpaper. Actually, let's do this. Arcade, right? Let's click OK. Now, what's the actual desktop look like? Are you kidding me? Is there? Oh, because I have to do this. Ah, oh, there we go. So, the older versions of Windows, you could actually apparently close programs in the desktop. Cool. But let's open back up Program Manager. That looked really bad, anyways. Ah, uh, where did that go? Here we go. Control Panel. Um, mini mapper enhanced. So about control panel, copyright 1993, and exit. So, long story short, this is Windows 3.1, and this was released 1992/1993. And is it usable in 2016? Definitely not. Like. I would at least, at the very least, at the very, 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 very basic recommend upgrading to Windows 95, if not Windows 7, um, because I would not recommend keeping Windows 3.1 around for any reasons. It won't run any pro modern programs. It is extremely difficult to use even compared to Windows 95. If you're running this on an actual computer, it'll probably be slow. And I mean, there's no drivers installed for it. Basically, you can't install anything new or probably anything made past 2000 and just 2000 on it and yeah basically it's real it's a real old operating system really probably not secure anymore it doesn't have a lot of the goodies that my windows 95 through windows 10 has and i just do not recommend using this at all i mean if you want to keep it around for like history purposes or something like that or just to play around with it be my guest but as far as actually using Windows 3.1 in 2016 goes, no, don't do it, like, I beg of you, okay? Anyways, that was today's video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll have game videos coming too, and hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.